Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me for a new video. So today we are doing a do-it-yourself sunset tutorial, except uh, I'm not really planning on showing you how to build the sunsets since there's a website that you can join for like $3 a month. I'll link to it in the description. You can get them pre-made and you can get a bunch of them pre-made in lots of different styles and colors, etc. But what I want to show you is how you can utilize these sunsets like I have almost all of my, I mean, I don't want to say almost all because I do a lot of text only designs, but if I'm not doing a text only design, a massive percentage of my shirts that sell are using sunsets from all sunsets. Okay. I'm not just saying that it's true. Okay. But that's just what works for me. What works for me may not work for you, but what I'm going to show you, I can promise works. And I'm going to show you how to take these sunsets and tailor them to your needs. And it is a very cheap, easy way to make really nice looking designs at least i know that's subjective but i think they're nice looking like for instance look at the thumbnail behind me look at those palm trees i mean you can do that in seconds with what i'm going to show you in the tutorial in this video so why don't we call it like sunset silhouette design tutorial all right sunset silhouette design tutorial that's what we're going to do so let's get started Quick reminder, take advantage of the free weekly print on demand giveaway. Two winners will be randomly selected and announced this Sunday at top five niches of the week. So use the link at the top of the description to do that. Also down there, I've got a link to my seven day Merch by Amazon free mini course. All I need is your email address. I'll send you one lesson a day for a week. And I've got a great Merch by Amazon Facebook group if you guys would like to join. All right, let's get to this tutorial. All right, so we are here in Photoshop. This is my kind of design tool of choice. I don't know that what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial will work on something like Canva, but I know you can go to photopia.com, which is basically like a clone of Photoshop, but it's free built into a web browser. And you can definitely do what I'm about to show you there. So you can check photopia and follow the exact same steps. Uh, Illustrator, most apps you can probably do this in. So uh, we're gonna use sunsets. And like I mentioned, rather than designing them myself, I like to save time, especially when <laughs> you can get it. Literally, it works out to like $3 a month. And they're running a sale right now, by the way. So if you join, I'll put the sale link. Uh, you save money. It's normally like $48 a year, I think, or $47 a year. And I think it's $33 if you join before the Cinco de Mayo sale ends. But you have to use my link to get that rate. So make sure you do that. Cool. All right. Now we have our sunsets. I mean, you just snap your fingers and boom. Oh, yeah, they're already made. It's beautiful. Uh, it's okay to outsource. But if you guys don't want to outsource, pause this video. Come back when you have a sunset. Um, anyways, we can just choose. I grabbed a couple. You literally have like hundreds of choices. Uh, I really like this one right here. Um, if you caught my video from... And it depends on what order I release these videos in, but I just did a Cinco de Mayo video as well. And I mentioned that sometimes I like to use sunsets that have kind of a cuttable top and bottom portion because I might want to like put flat text there. Um, sometimes I like to use round text, etc. but that's not even really in the scope of this video. So how about we use this sunset though, at least initially. Uh, the first thing you have to do is like, can you see over my shoulder right here? Uh, you kind of have to, like I always select the, the layer that I just dropped and then I make a blank layer and I select both of them by holding the shift key. And then I right click the new layer and I hit merge layers. And when I do that, now I can cut out of this, I can cut out of this sunset. But without doing that, I won't be able to actually like take a cut out of it. So here's what's cool. What I'm showing you in this video, and this was based on some designs that I saw during the top five niches of the week video from this past weekend, is you can just, just go grab a simple graphic, like a silhouette. And while I am not a lawyer, I feel comfortable saying that you should probably be able to just grab a silhouette graphic out of Google images. Cause we're not actually doing anything with that graphic, right? We're not, we're no, no, no pixel, uh, from that graphic will make its way into our final prod product, right? All we're actually doing here is we are taking the shape we want and you can just grab the magic wand tool and uh, click in and you'll notice it selects it. Then I'm going to hit control X on windows to cut it. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it and I will resize it to make it as big as I want it to be within the sunset. And again, I'm not actually going to use this graphic in the, you know, what I export from Photoshop. All I'm doing is I'm then going to use the magic wand tool again, click into the graphic. And then what I'm doing here is behind me. Sorry, my, my green screen pointing is not that great because everything's backwards, but I'm going to go back to the sunset layer and I might as well name this layer sunset make it easier to remember. So sunset, I'm going to then click that layer. So when you, when you magic wand the, the graphic that you want to select so that you can make it into a silhouette, 
uh, it's you're then gonna have to switch to the other layer because we're gonna cut from the other layer okay so now I'm gonna turn off the palm tree graphic just so that you can see Photoshop still has my selection right there and all you have to do is hit control X and it will cut out of the sunset all right so now without we're not using the graphic from wherever the graphic source was um, like Google images whatever you use all right um, you can do your own graphics I was just saying that like since we're just tracing it basically for the outline I think it's probably okay to um, to just you know borrow one from wherever right we're not actually gonna use the image you know what I mean I can even go in and delete that that layer just so that nobody thinks I'm using it all right but now what we have here is a sunset with that silhouette cut out and I think it looks pretty darn good and you saw how easily we just did that right so if I want to go through and make another one real quick how about we use um, this sunset right here all right I place it I'm going to merge it with a layer so that I can actually cut out of it if you skip that step you won't be able to do the last step where you actually cut it all right so we just did the palm tree I have another one here of a dog so let's grab the dog graphic and literally it's gonna be the same story you know um, by the way depending on how you want to do your graphics like you know I honestly like you know what I'm just gonna show you how I would do it I don't want to say I was gonna say you can get cute you can make like the dog small and put text in the sunset graphic but I, I'm a big fan of like bigger graphics I think they tend to work better like I was reviewing somebody's designs just the other day and uh, why is it selecting everything that's weird okay it's blending in with the background so I'm gonna turn the black background off so that I just get the dog here all right, so now I've got the dog. I'm going to turn that off. By the way, you don't have to turn it off as long as you just select the sunset layer here, which, again, I'm so bad at the green screen point because it's backwards, but layer four now is now my sunset number two. Um, so I just select that layer and I cut. So now I can turn the dog off, and there we go. We can see here. And the reason this is, you know, nice is that, you know, because you could always just keep a flat colored graphic over top of the sunset, but... By doing it this way guys like you see here I can switch between black and white and it looks great on both um, you can change the background color uh, the thing is if you do that like keep in mind like if I put the background color to yellow well now the sunset kind of blends in at points with the yellow so not you don't need to make it a design look good on every single shirt color like I, I think it's better to just design with a specific intent in mind now it's really hard to execute a shirt that looks good in both black and white because what happens when you add text when you add text I mean unless you do something like this where you um make the top like uh, make the top text like red and match the top of the sunset of course I made that so that it covers up the color so I can't actually see it but you know what I mean you can match the top here um, to that and this might actually look good on black and white shirts but I, I don't always feel the need to like go way out of my way um, to make things make shirts look good on black and white generally speaking like I'll either do it for dark colored shirts or you know light colored shirts but you see here how we just made that shirt like very quick very easy very simple we started with the base sunset take any silhouette you can even just draw it yourself um, one last example here well we can do it one more time I'll show you how quickly it can be done if I'm not trying to do like tutorial speed so I'll grab this sunset uh, I've got the dog paw here so I will select the paw put it over here um, select then go to the sunset merge cut out and boom now we've got the sunset with the paw cut out uh, I did just want to show one last thing as well like you don't have to use silhouettes and or you don't have to use like pre-made graphics you know what I mean like if you don't want to do the dog paw you could just do text I mean there's no reason why you can't just um, do I have a text layer yeah I do you can just add your own text here like you can write text over top and say my name is Ryan right you just put that over top I don't know how well the shirt would sell but um you can just put it right over top of the graphic and then you know select everything on that layer I just did a, a a nice quick shortcut for selecting if it's like multiple letters instead of doing like clicking every single letter you can go to um, select and then go to color range that's what I just did and then I clicked into the blue color and because only the text uses that color blue I knew it would just select what I wanted which is perfect so then I just click OK and as you can see here I can even zoom in to prove it uh, it's got just the text selected 
And then again, just make sure you are, you know, in the layers panel and I'm so bad at the green screen point, it is absurd, but just make sure you have the right layer selected. If you're not sure it's the right layer, you can always toggle it on and off to make sure. Select the layer you want to cut from, do your control X. Wait, why didn't that work? The selected area is empty. What? Oh, I had already cut it out. My bad. All right, I forgot. So it was already cut out from behind. Now, is this the most optimal looking design as far as the cut went? Probably not, but I'm just doing it for the YouTube tutorial. I wouldn't actually probably try to sell this design behind me because, again, guys, just one quick reminder. Like, I don't want to do a bad example, even though this was meant to be a silhouette design tutorial. I just always want to say that, like, you know, if we're doing something to the graphic that makes the text hard to read you generally don't want to make that edit like do it in a different way like put my name is as curve text above all right like that's honestly what i would do right here is i would probably make curve text above so really quick this will be the end of the video you can see what i was trying to talk about here my name is above and then you could put is ryan here in the part of the graphic where it um is easy to read and it doesn't look bad so that was really all i was trying to convey guys but thank you so much for watching this video if you found it helpful please let the youtube algorithm know by hitting that like button if you have any feedback questions comments let me know in the comment section and i'll get back to you please subscribe because i'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers finally and thank you for being a part of the journey by the way as i get closer and closer and i'll see you guys soon with a new video